Which staging's right for you? Hi, I'm George Lormer. So you have decluttered, you've painted, and you've done some smart fix-ups. The last step is staging to make the decluttered and clean home look as good as possible to the buyer. Some nice furniture can make the buyer see the great layout in this home. Also, they can envision themselves living there. New home builders always stage their homes with an interior designer and those guys get top dollar for it. For professional staging, it usually costs around $1,500 to $2,000 for a house that's 1,200 square feet up to about 1,700 square feet. They usually focus on the three to four living spaces that get the best bang for the buck. Most stagers get paid before the furniture is installed. You sign a contract and about five to seven days later they're installed. We do offer staging as part of the listing, but here's a quick summary for you do-it-yourselfers. Again, the biggest bang for your buck is to stage these rooms in this order. The living room, 93% of people say that's the biggest one. Next, the kitchen. Next, the master bedroom. And the fourth one is the dining room. Over 90% of buyers say that a stage home affects how they perceive the home and it adds value. How much value does it add? From a recent survey of buyers agents from the National Association of Realtors, 41% of realtors feel that staging affects the price the buyer will pay for a home. It ranges between 1% to 15% increase in value. So on a, let's talk real numbers. On a $750,000 home, that's an increased price from $7,500 to $112,000. Now, most of the increases I've seen are in the five to 8% range. So on 750,000, that's 37,000 up to 60,000. And they generally sell in half the time. So here's one thing to think about. In most market, if a home's worth 750,000, there will usually be sales comps from 690,000 up to 775,000. Now keep this in mind. The 690,000 one is a fixer, the 775 is staged. So, in our San Diego market, most people have already done staging and that represents the top end of the market. So you can't stage yours and then take that 750 or 775 home and add 10% on. It has to be within the realm of market value. So let me repeat this. The highest sale in your neighborhood is probably already beautifully staged and already represents the top price in your market. But if you don't stage your house and it needs some decluttering, some cleaning, some updating, your house may be worth 10% less than the highest sold in your area. This is a little bit different than most people think. Here's one to thing to think about when presenting your home in the best light. If it's been more than a year or two since you did a remodel, it's likely that your home will need some updating. In fact, I've sold many homes that were former model homes in the subdivision. And maybe five or 10 years ago, the owner paid a bunch more money for all the model home upgrades. Unfortunately, today's buyers aren't willing to pay a maximum premium unless the upgrades are new and updated. Now, the same is true on backyards, barbecues, pools, and everything else. If the home's looking a bit run down or needs some TLC, it detracts from the price that your home could get. So if you spent $60,000 on a backyard 10 years ago, it might be worth investing some money and in sprucing up those areas too. I strongly feel that these three steps, number one, decluttering, number two, painting and light remodeling, and number three, staging are critical to you getting top dollar in this market. Now, here's a quick side note. If your home's a real fixer, maybe you have it as an investment property or haven't done, 
or if you need an offer on it, the investor price for a fixer may be close to the same net you would get after fixing all the items. So we have different strategies for fixers. So if you think that might be you and your home, reach out to me directly and I can give you some different strategies on that. Okay, let's get back to staging. It's a lot of work, but the payoff is to sell your homes for tens of thousands of dollars more than it would sell otherwise. So be on the lookout for my other videos on marketing, strategic pricing, negotiation, and client protection. Remember, if you're tight on money and you wanna do some of these upgrades to get top dollar, in certain cases, we can pay for them up front and get reimbursed as part of the listing at the sale of the home. Also, get your copy of our 33-page home staging report for maximum profits by calling or texting me, George Lorimer, 619-846-1244. Also, you can definitely look me up online at www.georgelorimer.com. Thank you.